Okay, Alex. Are you ready to learn about so many costumes? You need to know all the science of Spider-Man. Science? Where everything came from. Costumes don't sound like science. These cost I assure you, these costumes require science. I think they just kind of appear, and then you just put them on. No. I had to build them. It took years of research. One of them is just underpants. <laughs> I don't, know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so you know the classic suit, which is not this suit, but you know the classic red and blue yeah, spider suit. Similar. We don't need to go we don't need to go that one showed up in like fantasy story fifteen or some shit. I don't remember exactly what the name of You're just making crap. No 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 here here, I have my list of Your list of what? My list of things. Amazing Fantasy number 15. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. From 1962 is when the first Spider-Man suit existed. Uh -huh. So then we have this one, which is the White Spider. Now, this is actually a new one. This wasn't a comic book Spider-Man. This is it invented by Insomniac for this game. Uh, it was an idea by Dr. Octopus, and so there you go. There's your backstory for this one. Um, you've got the white spider on the front and back, as well as uh, white. Hang on a second. White. Though know, that I was trying to zoom in on it. Hang on. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Also, didn't know you could do that. So it kind of just like. <laughs> it works with the um how you doing Spidey uh with the web slingers which are here on his wrist mm -hmm. so it kind of just like blends into the web slingers so we've got that we've got we're going to skip over these because these are classic Spiderman Classic Spiderman. Yeah. Um, I think the next one is Ooh, this one. That's cool. So this is the Dark Spider-Man outfit. Uh, first appeared in Spider-Man slash Deadpool number eight, which was in 2016, where Deadpool was uh, hired to kill Peter Parker without realizing that Parker was his BFF so Deadpool went into hell and because apparently Parker went to hell what? Uh, was it hell or was it oh no he was in purgatory I'm so sorry uh, so where he met Mephisto and so this is hang on let me climb up to the top here we'll get a nice little look at look at the full outfit very beautiful uh, let's see if I can get the photo mode going here we go it's kind of I want to say it's kind of metallic but it's not really all that it's, it's um, in certain areas yeah in certain areas it's more metallic than others kind it's got like a, a lovely black panther no crotch I mean, there's a little bump there, but you know. Oh, a little baby bump. And uh, the the uh, the beauty of the booty. So you met Mephisto, um, and this costume was the result of being killed and having a conversation. You say Mephisto. Mephisto. Like that dude from Blue Exorcist. No, he's a vampire. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Die. This is in German. I, I'm aware, well aware of what you were counting. <laughs> I see a little action of uh, super swing in here. Too slow. That's because we weren't trying, Peter. Failed. Failure. Alright. So we got that one, which I thought was interesting. I didn't know about that one before starting the game. Uh, this next one I did know. Uh, wherever the hell it is. 
it this one? Yeah, the insulated suit. Uh-huh. Which was, uh, what was the actual comic? Uh, Looks like a lot more than insulated. It's it's very padded. Yeah. Um, so this was Amazing Spider-Man 425. This was his first suit design against Shocker, the electric dude. Uh-huh. Um, which is why it's a electrically insulated suit, was to keep him from electrocuting his insides. Yeah. Can you shoot the helicopter? Can I do what to the helicopter? Shoot it. With your... I don't, I don't even know where the fuck the helicopter is. Hang on a second. There's like three of them. Uh, no. I cannot take the helicopter out of the air. I can certainly take shots at it, but there's no way I'm hitting it. Mm. Um, so this one was designed for Electro. He was actually fighting uh, alongside a X-Men member whose name was X-Man. Nice. Which, you know, simplicity, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, simplicity, I suppose. Um... So I kind of like this one. It's it, it certainly had its uses. I don't think it's been used since then, simply because he's made more changes to the the rest of his suits to help design, fight it. Um, but this was his first oh, shoulder things. I honestly, I bombs. honestly don't know. I'm assuming it's something to send out the current. And shoulder bombs. <laughs> shoulder bombs. I like the boots. <laughs> Very strappy. I can only assume they're like rubberish. I can only assume most of this outfit is rubber. <laughs> Cause you know, rubber. Uh-huh. Fine. <laughs> don't agree with my rubber assumptions. Sure. No, why would it be rubber? I don't know. Isn't that like insulated for it prevents conductivity, yeah, but it doesn't mean it has to be made of rubber. I suppose. Okay, next one. All units 1034. Repeat, assault reported. Any officer uh, here This one. The Fear Itself Suit. Uh, which is from the comic series ironically titled Fear Itself. It's a very... I always think Tron when I'm looking at this suit. Because of the, Good like, neon. Going. Yeah. It's very... It's very, like, spoopy. Yeah. Well, you know, fear itself would be... I also kind of like the... It almost looks like Assassin Blades hmm. on his cuff. Well, I was gonna I was gonna talk about that. Talk about that. So this... So in the series, the suits were made by Tony Stark and the dwarves. Um, and the do you well? Do you remember what the name of their planet was? N Oops. Nid. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know the dwarves. Yeah, the guys who made Mjolnir. Oh. And oh. Thor's new axe, Stormbreaker. I don't remember that. Um, well, they work together with them. So this suit is actually made out of the same metal as Mjolnir. Um, so on this. On the the gauntlets, these actually detach. They would shoot blades out. Um, but Peter didn't really. I think he wore it like once. Nice. And then Odin made the order for the suit to be destroyed, so he never got to wear it again. Aww. So you really didn't have much time. So yeah, I guess these bits right here would just like shoot off the side. Really. Yeah. Oh, I guess it kind of looks like they would. <laughs> I kind of like the spider symbol on the back of this one. It's, <laughs> it's, it's almost it looks like, like it's just squashed. Game. Yeah. So the next one we've got, you should recognize immediately. Yeah, it's like from the movie. It this is the homecoming uh, yeah. self-made costume. 
I don't really think we need to talk much about this one. It's, you know. Okay, no, no, no. no. There's something I need to say. This is way better than whatever happened in the Tobey Maguire one. Uh, I believe that outfit may actually be in this. I can't remember. Okay, well, this is definitely better. I am absolutely than the, like, shitty wrestling mask. Yeah, because, it, like, why do you think that... <laughs> Why do you think that was a good idea? It, like, barely fit him. <laughs> it looked like it was way too big. And we're just gonna let JJ go here. Oh, this is literally connected to that crime I just sto didn't stop. <laughs> It was too much effort. You're one hundred percent, Jonah. Or he's not interested. Typical of his generation. You know what I blame? The internet. Uh, except for the part of the internet that carries my show, which is performing a great public service. Uh huh. Okay. So the next one we got, you should also recognize it instantly. Excuse me. It is. Whoa. Oh, dear. Yes, there it is. Okay. I thought that was the one. So, making its appearance recently in the uh, actual Marvel Universe yeah, for the movies, right. but this was actually originally in 2006 in the Amazing Spider-Man 529. Um, let me think. Hang on a second. Let me get up on this so we can take a nice... Go somewhere shady so that the sun doesn't blare us out here. There we go. So this one's that oh, of course this one's definitely armor. This is a Tony Stark classic. Almost had the same design as the fear, the fear itself suit on the back there. Kinda, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, so this is the one that originally... I wonder if I still have the power equipped. I do not. I have resupply equipped. Um, suit power. So in the co in the comics, um, this one would do this. It's the, it's the power you don't like. I'm going to have to wait for it to recharge. Oh. Oh, no. Where it gives him like the extra arms. I don't like that. Then he actually looks like a Spooderman. I have to wait for it to recharge. So we might have to wait and just go to the next outfit before we uh, get to see it. Uh, the next one is... Is it this one? Yeah. So this is the last stand outfit, which is kind of like super posh. I like it. It almost, yeah, it looks like either a riding jacket for like a motorcycle mm -hmm. or almost like um, a chef's outfit. <laughs> you know how they button up on the side? Of yeah, the yeah, yeah. So this, okay, so do you know, so in the Marvel Universe, there are multiple dimensions. Obviously, as we've we've discussed with Doctor Strange, yeah. that there's hundreds upon thousands of dimensions. Well, there's also that means there's also hundreds of thousands of Earths, and each Earth has its own Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man of Earth, uh, three hundred twelve thousand five hundred. <laughs> exactly. What? Uh, so in this rea in in this version of Spider-Man, he kills one of his villains Craven the hunter and has to go on the run because of it against like the NYPD mm -hmm. um, he gets an offer of a more peaceful solution to like to end it all okay. but decides to fight the cops instead and then gets shot down in front of Aunt May's grave yeah. so he dies on top of her grave that and this is the suit power that we were talking about <laughs> nope don't like that I'm sure it was in a couple of the videos I was doing, but I wanted to do it for this. I love it. I don't. Alright, so... 
Next up is. Ew. No, stop it. Yeah. No fun. Mark two. Mark. Good player. No, Mark two. So again, kind of a much more metallic sheen to it. I don't like the eyes. I don't like any of the suits that have the eyes like this. It's just super weird in my opinion. Yeah. I've never liked. I like the spider though. That just goes down spider his butt. Is cool, but it looks more like it should be in like an Ant Man. Yeah. So this suit is bulletproof. Uh, and has magnetic webbing. He invented this one in The Amazing Spider-Man 656 because he actually lost his spider sense for a long period of time. And so to compensate for it, he had to make this. Um, he ended up fighting a villain called Massacre, uh, which was, you know, great name. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> um, and after that, he, his powers did come back to him, so the suit went into retirement instead. Which I think is foolish, because you should make every single one of your suits bulletproof. That's kind of true. So after the Mark II, we have... Where the heck is it? I'm gonna go through every other suit first before I fucking find this thing. Here it is, Jesus. So this is the Mark III. It's kind of like a rocket pack. Yeah. Something. Mark III was a was an interesting one. Whoa, the the vertebrae. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Um, a lot of people like to compare this one to the Red Hood. Do you know who that is? Uh, I know the Red Skull. No. So this is a, it's a Batman villain for the Red Hood. Um, one of the Robins becomes a bad guy. Awesome. What is this crap about having multiple universes and such? With Spider-Man? With all of these games. And you... I mean the bat the DC universe doesn't really have it. The ones with Sp um, well, I guess they do, but it's it's a lot less than it is with the Marvel universe. Um, and most of the time with the Batman one, there's more than one Robin because like Jason Todd, the first one is killed by the Joker. Joker literally beats him to death, which is fun. <laughs> Um, so this one, uh, you can see the, it's kind of, kind of got the insulated look from the other suit. Uh, so this one was built for combating the Sinister Sticks, which we sort of saw in this game. Um, it wasn't quite all of the original members, like Mr. Negative was not an original member of the Sinister Six. But he's cool. He is cool. I think it was the Chameleon was the original one. Um, so this suit, each like different part of the suit has a different way of combating each of the Sinister Six. Oh, that's cool. So that he could fight them all at the same time. Alright, we got the Mark IV, which is definitely iron. <laughs> it's super shiny. But shiny. <laughs> Uh, so this one was when Peter had his own scientific company called Parker Industries, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, he was traveling the world. It had uh, this glowing spider here on the front. So this was his suit of choice for traveling the world, which was interesting. It looks like bat wings. Yeah. Um, so this one is kind of, I think, what the the... Iron Spider is based off of. Mm -hmm. It's a, lo a lot like Stark suits. It's got uh, explosive tracers, drones, um, 
all kinds of different like little equipment inside of it but this one was actually killed by it wasn't retired it was just completely destroyed by the superior version of doc ock superior yeah superior he's cool so we'll give this a few seconds just to kind of look at all the the metal sheen and everything it's so lovely Went straight into a sign, that's fine. So you get from now looking where you're going. Let's see, after this one we've got... Oh yeah, it's the new... Well, actually, I thought this one was created for this game. I was 100% wrong. What do you mean? The negative suit was not created for this game just to be like a Mr. Negative kind of thing. Which is super weird. Yeah. So this actually came from Spider-Man number 90, which was in 1998. Um, he gets caught up in a situation where he has to rescue some Yancey Street residences from the negative zone. Uh, so this suit actually had to be created for him to survive in the zone. Like, it would have ripped him to pieces had he not created a suit to combat the effects. Of course. Um... So this suit, later on, this suit actually became known as Dusk, which I like that a lot better than just Negative Suit. Yeah. I think Dusk was a much cooler name. Hey, -o. but I like the um the shimmer effect yeah where it's like actually like the colors are moving on it and it gives yeah. it that weird effect i really like this one instead of just like a reflection mm -hmm. oh you know what's next no it's my favorite suit is it oh. it's, it's the noir suit yeah uh, so spider-man noir started in 2008 um if you go back and play the enter the Enter the Spider Verse. I don't think that's right. Something of that nature. There, there is a yeah. It's a, it's one of the games. Um, came out on the Wii and the 360. I think maybe. Came out on the Wii Abo. The Wii Abo. Um, that was my first introduction to this character. It's a game where it's four different four different universes. Spider Man 2099 are Spider Man, Spider Man Noir, and Ultimate Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Um, this is actually this is one of the more famous uh, advised, versions. You can see he's much more willing to uh, t return fire to thugs as he carries a revolver on his on his hip here. Um, Noir characters should. Of course. So this was a uh, 1993 era during the Great Depression, Spider-Man. Um. So yeah, he he's definitely is much more willing to kill people. Oh, Into the Spider Verse is the film that's coming out soon. That's what it, that's why I'm thinking of that name. Um, it's a movie. They're gonna there. It's an animated movie, oh. and he's gonna be part of the cast here. Let's just I go around don't the corner. Think I've heard you talk about that. I don't know very much about it. Um. So, again with the the buttons. It's very peacoat like. Yeah. I also really like the spider on the belt. Very nice. With I'm assuming these are supposed to be ammo pouches. No, they're supposed to be like handcuff pouches. You think? Yeah. Oh, well, yes, that's fair. His his lovely handgun. But yeah, this is definitely this has always been one of my favorite spider mans just from his gameplay in the games and just his style and story. Mm. Um, so all of the villains are like 1950s uh, gangster, and they're all changed around to reflect like just the different era, which I've always really liked. So we're just gonna give this one a second. I also like the the bottom of his shoes. I don't know. They look like magnetic to me. Kind of. They almost look like tap shoes. Yeah. Oh god, that would be interesting. <laughs> I 
so that's the noir one. Uh, next up is the Secret War suit from the series, once again, ironically called Secret Wars. Is it ironic? Sure, why not? This is actually one of my least favorite suits, um, just design wise. Hang on, I actually I really like running up these things. I love going up those. I just don't like the back of the design of this suit. Um, let me get to my free mode camera. It looks like a backpack. There's just something like about it I just back. don't like. Hang on, we'll get it. Yeah, see, like a, it. It kind of looks like a shoulder strap kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Something about this one I just never liked. This just big whopping blue thing on its back. Um, so, <sighs> this was a situation where the Marvel characters uh, kind of grouped up and they took over Latveria. Um, took over what? Latveria. It's the where Doctor Doom, Doom's base is from the Fantastic Four. That's oh, the okay. country that he set up. Um, so this suit was literally for that mission and it has not been seen since. <laughs> So I get the feeling even the creators didn't like this suit. He, it's a, it, Latveria is a very wintry area, so I'm assuming it was Why a kind of blend in. One? Well, I think it was to blend in with like the Black. ice blue kind of. No, I'm not buying that. We tried. <laughs> All right, next up is Scarlet Spider. Um, so this one's a bit more complicated. So I'm gonna do my best to like shorten it down. Essentially, this is a universe. This is a clone of Spider-Man. Um, this this man's name is Ben Riley. Uh, this was the '90s, so he's got like a sleeveless hoodie. <laughs> Um, and one of his like abilities was to create hol holographic images of Spider-Man to confuse and dazzle, um, you know, enemies that he's going up against, which ended up being the power that it gave to this outfit. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, he became Spider-Man because the original was killed, which is why he's a clone. He's a clone power of um, Spidey. And then the original was killed off, and he took his place. Sad day. But it's not Miles. It's not Miles, no. Interesting. Uh, and it's funny you said Spider Punk, considering this one's actually called Spider Punk. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Um, but why? What's with the spikes? Is it Mohawk? So, this is the Spider Man of Earth 138, Hobie Brown. Uh, he leads a spider army against the tyrannical President Norman Osborn. He's like President of the United States? Yes. Oh, no. Um, I. Yeah, I. Uh, which was interesting. So this guy loves grinding as much as he loves web swinging. And it is only through the power of rock and roll that he was able to defeat President Norman Osborn. That and smashing a guitar into the side of the man's head. <laughs> I can appreciate that. So then we've got the one you were most curious about. The spirit spider. A ghost rider. Which, yeah, I was going to say, so you wanted it to be a ghost rider situation. It basically is. So, this was reality uh, 11,638, which poses the question, what if Uncle Ben never died and instead just inspired him as a living being to become Spider-Man? Um... 
Which doesn't really explain the outfit. No. So that's that version of Peter became the Amazing Spider-Man, which is the most common, you know, comic universe for it. Okay. Is it? Yes, the Amazing, Amazing, Spectacular, Ultimate. These are like the different era. Um, however, this spider decided he was going to start killing other Spider-Men to absorb their powers in a there can be only one situation. There can only be one. So he was granted a second chance at life um, by the Sorcerer Supreme of his universe, Bruce Banner. The Sorcerer Supreme? Who's Bruce Banner? Oh, no. So Bruce Banner became Doctor Strange. That's, this is... Um, and so that's how this was created. <laughs> this is him coming back to life. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> it's also got the, 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 the symbol we, we've come to hate in this video. <laughs> the squish. The squish spider. The squish. Um, let's see what else have we got. The Stark suit. Which we know from uh, Civil War. This was the first one that he was given by Tony. Right. Rather than having the metal one, it was more just like it fit him. It did that weird suction-y thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which... Mm -hmm. Sucked him on. <laughs> the one that had Friday. Yes, the one that, yeah. I still don't like Friday. I know you Jarvis don't. Jarvis is better. Jarvis will always be better. Uh, this one, yeah, this one debuted in Civil War. Uh, there's not really much to talk about it. No. I mean, if you've seen the movies, you know what it can do. This was, however, the first suit in the movie universe that was able to do the retracting eyes to match the comic book versions of uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, because... It also made that weird noise, like, uh, camera zooming mm -hmm. in. <laughs> That's true. So now we've got okay. Stealth Big Time Suit. Which, again, uh, this is definitely down there with the blue suit from earlier. For Secret Ors, I'm not a big fan oh, of the... big blob on the back? I'm not a big fan of the design of this one. No. Um... This was from Amazing Spider-Man 650. This is when Spider-Man goes to a rave. Yeah, this is Rave Spider-Man. Well, it was so it was actually used to counteract the Hobgoblin. Um, part of his abilities are sonic sonic screams. So this suit would warp light and sound around it and make it invisible to the Hobgoblins. Uh, when he would the search for him, yeah, the hobgoblin. Uh, it's supposed to be Harry. What Harry became? Oh, instead of the green goblin. Yeah, so Harry's uh, version was the hobgoblin. Oh, I was just assuming he just continued the green goblin mm -mm. legacy. He 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 changed the name and everything for it. Um. I think I would like it better if it wasn't green, which actually in the comics originally it changed red and blue. It was different colors. <clears throat> like a gaming controller? Yeah. I think it was based off of, uh, off of just danger situations. Danger, danger. Danger, danger. How about this? Paused right on the butt. Yep. Um, what's going on in, in, nope, wait, go back. Um, there's just a weird, he almost looks like he has a hernia when you, <laughs> from that angle. <laughs> it like scoogles down his abs. Oh, you're yeah. talking about actually over here? <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the black line in the middle. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable looking at it myself here. Uh, let's see, that's the original. There he is. There's the wrestler suit. I mean, it's close. This one looks, I, th but this one looks better than the Tobey Maguire one. Oh, yeah, because the Tobey, his mask wasn't like, like a luchador mask where it's 
snug to your face. Mm. It was like a ski mask and it was falling off. Yeah, it looked like he was gonna go rob somebody. Yeah. So this one was uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. He wishes. Uh, yes. And it's essentially the same story. Um, he put it together while he was a teenager trying to figure out what his powers were. And of course it would be the basis for the future design for the rest of the suits. Um, we'll take a quick... It's got the squish spider on the back. Nope. Um, the regular spider on the front. The, uh... Uh, well, it's obviously going to be a web slinger here because of who he is. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the original suit had web slingers or if it was going off of him actually having powers. In the Tobey Maguire one, it was him having powers. Yeah. And then I think... I don't know. I can't remember Amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. I think I can't remember if that one was powers or... Again, this is my favorite type where he... Helicopter! Where he just could have had any weapon he wanted and instead made spider... <laughs> Spider-themed weaponry. Like Batman. Yes, much like, well, Batman doesn't really have much... I don't think it counts if you just make it in the shape of what you say you are. You know what? I think it is. I think it does count. So next up we've got... I'm only coming down to the last couple here. The Velocity Suit. Which... Uh, this one's alright. It's kind of more of a classic spider look with it. But it's almost like oh, like Atlantis, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where it's like that weird life force paint yeah. that they have. It reminds me of that. This one was actually built for this game. Um, out of Aldi Gr uh, Granov, I think is his name. He he's done a lot of cover work for Marvel, and really all this does is it increases your speed. You can your your superpower causes you to move faster when you're doing stuff. So not really high on the list, but you know. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna have to change the power with this next suit because we're going to. The one that hurts our head. <laughs> uh, it's because you can't. No, nothing else in this world is comic book like. <laughs> let me get, hang on, let me get on street level so we can see him next That's to regular funny. people. <laughs> you just don't look like you should be here. I think I have a. A snap. <laughs> Yeah. He's not strong. Why does that hurt? I can't remember what the button is now. One of the buttons lets me, like, salute people and stuff. So this is our uh, original. I'm going to climb back up here so I don't have to listen to these people talking. Something like that. So we're back to classic Spider-Man cell shaded comic book. The good old times. Back when, you know, stuff was good. <laughs> Our country wasn't falling apart. Wow. Let's not get pulled. <laughs> All right, next up is Spider-Man 2099. First appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 365. Uh, this is the Earth 928 in the year 2099, where New York is protected by Miguel O'Hara. 
why he has like a skull thing on his face. Like his the his mask is kind of. Hang like, on, let me get somewhere where we can actually. There we go. That's thing. better. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a bit more of a <laughs> more of a I'm a deadly spider look than a. Yeah. Um, oh, even the spider on his chest is kind of... That's what I was saying, yeah. Butt skull. I was referring to his face. <laughs> oh. Um, so this was actually made out of the same material uh, from the Fantastic Four outfits. And would sometimes come with a cape that was made out of webbing. Interesting. And then to combat that... You have the white suit. Still twenty ninety nine um, with Miguel. Uh, he ended up getting stuck in. Is this like when he's playing for the home team? <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a Miguel who became stuck in the current Marvel universe, like our common one. Okay. Um. He got hired on as a, a worker at Peter Parker Industries. Uh, but when he came into this reality, he actually had his uh, body controlled by Dr. Octopus. Like, they, they, he just took over full mental facility over him. Interesting. Which was fairly disturbing. Or, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Doc took over Peter's body, and Miguel, so Miguel filled in as the Spider Spooderman. And listen, I, I know we don't really have to talk about this suit, but we're going to talk about this suit. Because <laughs> it's the best suit. In the fact that there is no suit. New Yorkers will never forget the day that they saw their hero saving them in his boxers. <laughs> Those are briefs, my love. No, it's boxers. No, if it's that tight. Boxer briefs. No, sure. I'll concede on boxer briefs. But they're, they're just briefs. All units, armed robbery reported. Please respond. Reports are coming from the lower east. And then, of course, we have, uh... Oh, wait, you need to zoom in on the spidey butt. Zoom in on the spidey butt? Hang on a second. Oh, look at the fucking fine stitching on the... the Alright, that's some detail, let's be honest. It looks like it's... But it's a Spider Man. Spider Man brand. Like Calvin Klein. It looks like chainmail, weirdly enough. A little bit, yeah. And that's actually kind of funny that he would have Spider Man brand because one of the collectibles is for Spider Plushie. Um, where Peter says he really wants to make a profit off of his image but can't do it because then he'd have to give up his identity in order to cash the checks. Yeah, I mean, can't you just go into the bank looking like Spider-Man? But, well, yeah, but then you have to, like, make a new bank account. It's just, so? you know, it's just, it's a long process. It's really, I think it, it would be okay. And the final outfit for the video we used in the final episode, um, the anti-ox suit. Uh, also designed for the game. Um, it's fairly confused with uh, the stealth suit just because of the similar look to it. Um, Which one was the stealth suit? The big time stealth was this one. Oh, okay. The Rave one. And it also gets confused with the Mark II. Oh. Which, honestly, is oh, exactly how I did it. I, I was like, but I already own this suit, apparently. Oh. You see I how it, how you yeah. could. Yeah. It's um, just the coloring, really. Yeah. So, oh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong suit. There we go. But, yeah, so... 
this one was just another creation straight for this game. Uh, and of course, I wanted to, I actually forgot to do this while we were in the regular suit. The classic suit has the special ability, so each of them have their own special ability. And the classic suit does this. It makes him do a quip from uh, <laughs> so every and it's like the quickest one to recharge too, so you can just do it over and over. But doing spider stuff, tuffets and water spouts. <laughs> like the nursery. Yes, that's exactly what that's supposed to be. So that's gonna do it for suits. Um, we got one more video for uh, this particular series until next month, I think, um, which is when the Black Cat DLC is supposed to come out. What? What? So next episode will be uh, Easter eggs and known locations from the Spider-Man universe. See you guys next time. See you then.